How's everybody doing today? My name is Bruce. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today, I'm actually tonight, just kind of going through some comic books, um, just looking up stuff, and figured I'd get some of these ROMs, these ROM Space Knight comic books out that I used to collect when I was a kid. Um, looks like on the cover of one of these, it said 1982. But I was checking them out, just been going through a bunch of my books and seeing if there's any that I should pull out and get graded or what have you. And I came across some ROMs uh, as I was searching and uh, there was a couple, couple in there. Of course, number one, if it's in good shape, pretty decent price and then I came across number 31 which was the first appearance of ah, shoot I don't remember I don't remember who it was but uh, if, you, if you remember comment below <clears throat> so I figured I'd just kind of start going through these and see which ones I had but I thought you guys would really like to see this because um, I haven't touched these particular comics for, I don't even know how long, 20 years maybe. So it's just kind of neat to see. I mean, I, I used to, I never really did take, put them in bags until probably, I don't even know when. Um, maybe about 20 years ago, I put them all in bags finally. But um, it, it's just funny because... You know, here's one of the bags, and just just listen to this. It's been in here so long. Look, the ink is even coming off on the other side of the bag. And look what it says. The world is finally seeing the light. Bellagio Blanco. I remember my father, he used to work for a distribution company for uh, wine and alcohol and he had all these extra bags one time and he brought them home for me to put my comic books in a bag so i these were these were wine wine bags don't ask me how they used them but these were just wine i guess gift bags that they had and i put a bunch of my comic books in them so thank you for doing that tim i appreciate that but it's just kind of neat that I'm going through these and you you see they're kind of, they're, you just got that, that peeling sound. Here's a, here's a good one. Look at that. So they're all in good shape, decent shape. They've been read back before uh, internet. That's what we would do. We would read comic books. We would buy them. So let's see. I got number five, six. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four. Well, actually, that's that's annual number one. I think I have a couple number ones. got two number ones and they actually look to be pretty high grade huh I might even have another number one I'm surprised my number one from my personal collection when I was a kid is is so crispy clean I did take care of my stuff but I read them so let's see I got uh, two number ones and then I got let's see so there's number one Number one, and then we got number two, three, and four. Try to do this from back here a little bit, I'm sorry. Try to get you guys to see these. All right, and then we have an annual number one. <clears throat> number 
one five six seven. I met this artist. I can always tell his artwork. I don't remember don't remember his name. He's done some Hulk and some She Hulk and some Star Wars. Uh, let's see, number eight. Let me know if you guys know of any other key issues in here. I really haven't looked. <clears throat> number nine. Number ten. And again, I'm looking at these probably for the first time. I'm trying to even think. Man, I don't even know how long it's been since I've looked at these. Number 11. Number 12. That's Jack of Hearts. Probably first appearance. Never really a big fan of his. Not a big key character, probably. Um, let's see, 12, 13, hmm, I must have went on vacation for a while because we skip, wow, we skip a bunch unless I've got some stashed away somewhere else. So we got number 25. Now what's the reason we've got a stamp on there for 37? Does anybody know that reason? Is this, let's see, the star... If you see a star, that means it went to the army, an army base, I think. But I don't recall what this means. Um, by the way, these are all these are all newsstand, so that's good. And one thing that always bothered me also was this diamond shape. I never liked that. <clears throat> Perhaps that means it was a direct edition. I'm not sure. But sometimes these would come in those three packs. And I looked at one of these. It's not a second print. So I'm not sure what the significance is of that. Maybe it's a different company, different distributor. Comment below. Um, let's see. So we went from 25. Oh. We went from number 25 to number 34. I wonder if that's a good one because it's got the Submariner in it. And then we jumped to 36. 37. 38. It's got, uh, what's his name? Whatever his name is. Um, 39. 40. 43. I don't know who that guy is. Oop, it's sticking to the book. Oh. It's just the plastic. Uh, 45. 46. I am getting ready to bag and board these. 47. Jumped to 51. Fifty two. Fifty six. Uh, here's the one I was talking about. Number thirty one. Number 31, this was coming up as a key issue. I think, is that, was that Rogue on there? If I'm not mistaken. First appearance of Rogue. Number 31. 
<clears throat> it's got a few spine ticks on it. It's not a 9.8, but can't tell you how many times I've gone through my collections and I've got all these issues and I'm building up to the key issue and then bam, it's like, where'd that go? It's almost like somebody came in and picked through all my stuff or told me not to buy it back then. <laughs> the best one. Uh, and then we'll see here. Backtrack a little bit. This is number 27. And number 35. Submariner again. So I just thought you guys might like to see that. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, number one, find, you know, just going through something that that's you guys went through it with me for the first time <clears throat> in a very long time. Um, maybe around 2000 and 2005, 2007, not too sure. But um, oh, if you're wondering what this is, this is charcoal. I was working on some other comic books that had a, uh, that I found in a house. You guys will have to look at another video that I'm going to put up about that one. But anyway, back to this. I just thought it was kind of interesting that um, that these were still, you know, just hadn't been touched and they were all stuck together and then they're in this old school wine bag. Thought you guys might like, might get a kick out of that. Uh, by the way, the wine bags are from 19... 82 right there villa blanu whatever um bellagio bianco pretty funny well that's it if you guys liked the video and you thought it was pretty cool you'd like to see some more stuff that i got feel free to like and subscribe um and leave a comment below definitely share the video it helps us out and that's all we got for tonight. Thank you very much. Take care.